Bible says in the book of Numbers chapter 24, there are several things that if you don't understand, you will never go far. And that's not because it's a curse. That's just the truth. It doesn't matter how long you speak in tongues blindly. And I tell you, you need to speak in tongues a lot. You need to fast a lot. Pray much. You need to fast more than you eat. If you are going to make any meaning in this life, if you are going to grow deep enough in your spirit, for your life to take root and create an effect that will cause a ripple in the earth. Alright, so I'm not diminishing fasting. But you see, fasting, prayer, will not exclude you from this responsibility I'm about to show you. They exist in different worlds. And if you negate this one, you'll be blind to the consequences. But they'll still abound. Now, in the book of Numbers chapter 24 verse 5, as Balaam was standing on the mountain top, and he was looking into the camp of Israel, and he saw that the camp was actually configured according to a certain defined pattern. Second thing that he noticed was that they were ordered according to their tribes. See, so Reuben was one side. Dan was another side. Isaac was in another place. Is that not cellular association? Now, I need you to understand that except you are not growing. Because if you are, you will begin to see that you look like somebody, some people. If you have not noticed that one yet, you don't have a tribe yet. And if you are without a tribe, we can't trace you to your tent. You, you, might, you might be part of the mixed multitude. You don't have a tent. <laughs> they were they were clustered according to their tribes. Now, this is my own personal experience. Somewhere around 2001, I I was watching Benny Hinn one day, and Benny Hinn was ministering, and he now said, "Do you want the power of God?" I said, "I want." He said, "Stretch your hand." I said. He prayed. I felt something on my chest like a load, a weight on my chest and I was wondering what exactly it was after about 30 minutes it diminished hallelujah about one year later I was preaching somewhere I felt that load on my chest I didn't know what it meant but subsequently I now found out that if, if I'm going to hear God's voice very well, especially when people are many I'll have to sing a song. That one, I discovered it. I stumbled upon it in my research. That if I want to make sure that my perception of God's voice is accurate, I'll have to sing a song. And that was my own personal discovery. I didn't read my book. I didn't find it in the library. Are you with me? So I kept discovering a few things about myself here and there. And after a while, it was clear to me that I look like Benny Hinn. I look like him. So now, when I watch him, I found out well of the same tribe. That's what I mean. His experiences that he has had with God, as I listen to it, it applies to me. Oh, you, you, you are not here. Okay, you, you flow everywhere. You flow with T.D. Jakes. You flow with uh, Shakaria. You flow... You have not found yourself. You are still in the desert wandering. The Bible says that Balaam looked toward the wilderness when the presence of God came upon. There was a direction he looked. If the presence of God doesn't come on a man, he is everywhere he looks. But there was a direction that he was looking at when the presence of God came upon him. Prior to the time that the presence of God came upon him, he was trying to access the spirit realm using divination and enchantment. He had to establish seven altars. So that through the sacrifice and the, the, the vocabulary of the blood that was shed on those altars, he could have a hearing in the spirit realm using enchantment. But the heavens did open, the spirit realm did not open. Then he now stayed and began to watch Israel. 
he looked around and suddenly he felt that glow he felt the glow of the presence of god recline upon him and from that point he knew where exactly to look he looked toward the wilderness and what god wanted him to catch he saw it he said how goodly are thy tents O israel what he saw was the tent he saw the pattern he saw he said for there were count according to their tribes he saw a design in their camping it was like a mosaic when you put the whole picture together it, it's as if it forms a writing they were count according to their tribes there are several people whose spiritual lives are patterns for you to look at if you have not found those kind of people yet you are still using enchantment you are okay you have not found yourself you have not found yourself here and there are men like that that God raises up and he puts so much pressure upon them so that they will not become a wrong example to the people that needs to look upon them I found such a man in Benihim for my own life I started watching him when his hair was black until he became gray now it is white for every level he went in the realm of the spirit more understanding came that fortified my standing and that made me understand my call ah what you are looking for is not lost and you are not the first anointed man to walk this ground <laughs> but if you don't know your tribe you will wonder god wanted him to look to the wilderness and what he wanted him to see was there may god help you see what you need to see and stop wandering and stop using enchantments trial and error once and again see god is not trial and error god operates by the stream of the spirit and the watch word is accuracy and precision if you have not found accuracy and precision you are still wandering ministry is not opening the bible and preaching you must know the tribe you belong and what God has committed into your hands to run with because your own sequence of race will be different your timings will be different your, your days are different the opportunities that will come your way are different and I accept you understand your tribe you will not know why you are suffering why you are on one spot when everybody has taken a hundred meter dash do you know yourself that's my question who are you <laughs> who are you oh my God, the days of wandering are over now the Lord calls and beckons to his people to come and fall